Hello, you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel for another part, guys, to that fantastic little series I've been doing of the Namco Museum Volume 1 for the original PlayStation. Now, we've had a look already at a couple of flipping doozies, haven't we? But in this part three, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a game that won't be so familiar to most people because it was only ever released into Japan, guys, until it finally hit this collection. Wow, is this a little doozy. I'm sure a lot of you have come across it somewhere else because I do believe it's been put onto other collections as well. But it was never released as, a, as an arcade here. Um, now, it started its life off in 1986. That is a long time ago, guys. I was 16. Wow. Seems like dinosaur days. Mm, that's me, dinosaur. But yes, guys, um, absolutely fantastic flipping game. Wow, wow, wow. It is called Toy Pop. And as I say, guys, only released into Japan originally. Back in 1986, onto the arcade, uh, hence the CAD that you're seeing right now. A very rough looking CAD, by the way, it's the only picture I could really find that was, uh, yeah, showing this off. But, I tell you what guys, it is a shooter, but with a hell of a big difference. Um, developed and released by Namco themselves. Uh, it is a little gem of a game, guys, quite difficult. But you do get used to it in the end. It's basically um, you're kind of in a toy box. That's what it's meant to. That's how they describe it. The floor is a toy box, and you go around what is basically a maze of boxes and so on. You have to shoot all the other toys. They will try to kill you and the cars and the little soldiers and God knows what. Something look like that from Alice in Wonderland because they've got like playing cards on the front of these uh, carries like little soldiers and what have you. Um, yeah, and then basically you've got a time limit before the wall starts coming in on you. And uh, yeah, you've got to get through the bloody door quick. But of course you've got to clear all the enemies. And you get a bonus if you clear all the enemies. That is fantastic as well if you achieve that. Get a nice little bonus at the end of it. So yeah, this is a stellar title again, guys, on this collection. Now, I kept saying, guys, that there's seven games. And then something was puzzling me when I was looking at it. I'm thinking... I'm only counting six here. And then I realised, guys, that you know when we did Rally X, well, when you go into that room and there's the two CADs, isn't there? You've got the tabletop and then you've got the proper CAD. Well, the tabletop, I do believe, is the new Rally X. So it's two games in one there, guys. So we're going to revisit that one um, probably at the end of this little series because we've already taken a look at it in a sense, haven't we? So yeah, we'll look at that at the end of it all. Go back to that and play the other version. But yeah, if you want to join me once again, guys, for a fantastic title from the Namco Museum Volume 1 for the PlayStation and 1 that not so many of you will have come across, I'm sure. So right, you know I'm going to say hold on to your bitches because this is a stellar shooter, guys. Do not let the cuteness fool you. Right, here we go, guys. Back in a sec. Right, guys, here we go with the next part of this fantastic collection. I really do love this. Right, here we go again into the museum we go first, of course. Yep, in we go. This time we're taking a look at a kind of shooter, guys. There we are again in the museum. There we 
car with the windows and everything as you've seen already twice before yeah. there's your lady where you can change your uh, name and what have you huh. wicked yeah absolutely blinding let's go into the hole the hole Right, this time, guys, we are heading over here. There, in fact. Because we're going to be playing Toy Pop. But yeah, here we go again, guys. There's all the different games. I have now found out that Rally X, which we looked at last time, the two cabinets that are in there, one is Rally X and one is uh, New Rally X. So we'll have to revisit that. Probably is the last one because we've looked at it already. But yeah, it is the turn of Toy Pop. Here we go. So here we are in the museum. Game room. Toy Pop on the top there. Huh. As you can see, lots of bits and bobs on display again. Right, let's go over to the first one see what this is. This is a pamphlet, I'm sure. Yeah, pamphlet from 1986. Wow. It's the old sales pamphlet again. Right. Let's have a look at it. Zoom in again. Right, there we go. We'll zoom into there and then we'll go to the top and have a look at it. Obviously you've seen this already on my intro. How wicked is that? Shows you the old playing field there. Wicked. Alright, let's go back out. There's nothing else to see. And move on. Alright, let's go over to the next bit. You always know when you're there, but when it goes, ooh, ooh. Right, there we go. What have we got this time? Ah, stationery. Ah, was produced featuring the uh, characters. Wow. Pino and Aka. <laughs> Whatever it is. Can we look at it? No, we can't. We can't get any closer, guys. But yeah, there you go. You can see it here. Wow, well, that must have been pretty cool at the time. Right, let's come out of there. And next we have... Oh, a pop card, right. Placed on the side of the card to identify a new game. <coughs> Pardon me. Again, you can't go in there and look at it any further. It's a shame. Right, okay then. Looks like we're going to be going through this uh, museum exhibition very quickly this time. And then we have... Instruction card, right. It showed how to play. Right, we're allowed to uh, look closer. This time, that's good. Let's pull it in again. Move down. Oh, sorry, move up. <coughs> do apologise for my constant coughing here. And once again, it's wicked looking. Look at that. How cool. Yeah, brilliant. Right, let's come out of that one. <coughs> Do I do believe there's another one? Oh yeah, there we go. Right, let's have a look at this one. That's awesome. Right, 
Alright, out again. And that's our lot. What have we got next? Ooh, some kind of book. Oh, it's the tip book again, yeah. Open every box because sometimes there's hidden stuff. Right. Next one. All oh, right, you get an all clear bonus. Wicked. Not that I'll clear all the enemies. Right. Okay. Well, I'll be playing on my own, so that won't mean anything to me. Defeat the magician there. Wow, brilliant. Okay, there we go then. Right, the last bit on display here is the arcade board again. I love these. It's a shame you can't scroll in on them, but they are wicked looking. Look at that. Only one this time. Excellent, that's what it actually looked like. Wicked. Right, let's clear out. And get around the corner. So, yep, that is the last thing on display there. So, of course, now we're heading to the game room. Here we go. Here's the usual guys. With your enemies and whatever. It shows you all the different characters anyway. Here we go. The kind of projector. Ah, right, so yeah. Pin on. Pin on two. <laughs> pin on three. All these different pin -os. Aka, whatever she's called. Aka. Yeah, all the different ones are going on. Wicked. And then you've got bullets and all that. Yeah. Scroll through quickly here. Yeah. Not sure how many there is, mind. Wow, loads of them. Yeah, I won't bore you with it, guys, by going through every single thing. But yeah, nice uh, selection of showing you all the different uh, enemies and items and, and the main characters, of course. Generator, right, let's move on. We want to get into that next room, don't we? Right, what we got here? This is your uh, how to play again, guys. Look, this is wicked that they always have that on every uh, bit. Yeah, excellent. Uh, Nineteen eighty-six. I was sixteen when this came out. Hmm. Right, that's it. Yeah, that's your lot. Okay. Right, you know where we're heading now, through the doorway. He says if I can get through the doorway. There we go. Now this is a very sparse room, look at this. That is it. That is all you got, this arcade machine. Let's have a little wander around it, shall we? He says, there we go. Let's go over this way a bit. Spin round again. There you go. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty cool looking. But we need to be in front of it to play it. Right, here we go. Right, are you ready for this? Let's play this thing. It's very hard, guys. And you're going to see some absolutely crap. Gameplay by me, once again. But I wouldn't want to disappoint you by being good. Right, here we go. Quick vape. Like the usual old boot up there, pretty cool. And then here we are, 1986, wow, and 1995, of course, where it's on the PlayStation. Wicked, right, let's get going then. Pin or pin only, yeah, I suppose so. Right, there he is, the little bugger. 
these down here. They're supposed to be kind of like based on Pinocchio or what? So we shoot them. Here comes another one. Try and get them before they get you, basically. Oh, here comes another one. Yep. Yeah. Another one. Excellent. So you're going to come up this way? Yep. Yeah. And of course there's all sorts of other things. Like boxes and what have you. No, you can't do anything with them. That gives you a heart. There we go. Okay. Now oh, where's the next enemy going to come from? There? There we go, there we come. So you just got to keep on shooting them guys. Oh, you bugger. I'm all coming from there now. Hey, look, he's undressed me. Look at it. What happens here then? Throw that. Yeah, throw them all. Yay. Okay. Of course, we can get these. Because it can sometimes give you stuff, apparently. Open all the boxes, it's there. Uh... Oh, you bugger. Where are you coming from there? Oh, you yes, sort. Got him. Oh, I don't know what that just did. <laughs> if it made me invincible for a minute or what. Oh, what's going on? No, leave me alone. No. <laughs> Oh, you bugger. What's going on? i got to get out. Oh, it killed me. No. <laughs> Obviously run out of time, guys. Right, here we go again. Oh, what the heck was that? Hey, guys again. Oh, oh. There's going to be another enemy coming out in a minute, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got that one point. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Oh, bugger. Look, it turns you, uh... Yeah, it turns you into that. Wow. Oh. How cool is that? Oh, yeah, bugger. Oh, does that mean I'm like, almost like a ghost? Look, I've, I'm invisible to them or something. That's pretty damn cool, but I can't kill him either. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is wicked. <laughs> Even though I keep dying, it's wicked. What a fantastic game. Wow. Oh, died again. No! <laughs> that is brilliant. Really is. Right, okay, let's go again. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Oh, back to this one. Yeah, we'll be on there. Oh, undress me already. Oh, what's it doing? Why am I die? Oh, it wouldn't die. Oh, you swine. Die, you bugger. Oh. Seriously, they don't die. I was going to say, I know I was killing them earlier. Oh, no. Oh, you yeah, git. Let's get out of there. Go over there somewhere. Probably not some of these boxes, are there? Oh, got it next. Got that as well. Complete the uh, level there. Got ourselves a nice bit of cake there. Oh, this is super fun, guys! Absolutely brilliant, hard but fun. 
said it was hard, didn't I? Oh, well, look, we're going to run out of time. Oh, we're going to get that over that. No, it's going to run out of time again. I have to go through this hole here. Maybe. That's it, yeah, there we go. So I managed to do it this time. Didn't open all the boxes, but managed to do it. Got a half decent score, hopefully. Right, there we go again then. Oh, I've still got no clothes on. Oh, right, okay. Oh, you bugger. Killed me as well. Oh, damn. Come on. Oh, damn it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> At least I had a half decent score, didn't I? Hey, there we go again. One more time, guys. Come on. I'll do it again, haven't I? Yeah, alright. You're going to start me right back at the beginning. Yeah. to it now. Just hang the arrow. Off. I'm not going to be able to, am I? No, because that bloody wall's coming up. Trying hard, very hard. Yes, I did it. Wow, cool. Excellent, at least I got the bonus. Brilliant. Superb. Still got my claws. Terrible. Oh, and I've just been punched in the face. <laughs> Can I get rid of them? No. No, I can't get rid of them. Pucker. Not with that weapon anyway. Get a bomb on it. Sure is. Yes, got it, did I? No, you got me as well. Got that, yeah. No, I couldn't get it. Tell you what, what a fantastic game, guys. But we've got to round it up. Yeah, right. Back with my final thoughts. Wow.
Wow. That's different, isn't it? Yeah, that is very different, guys. Where you're, uh, what they call in a toy box, and you're going around shooting all the enemies, and, you know, they're all toys, aren't they? Um, obviously, you've got to watch out for those things that respawn them, in a way, isn't it? Um, get all the boxes to get all the uh, bits and bobs that are in there, but you've got to watch it as well, haven't you? Because that bloody punch thing comes out and smacks you in the chops, doesn't it, if you're not careful? Um, obviously, if you're playing it two-player, guys, you can play as the two characters, so you can be the boy and the girl. Um, obviously, I was playing it on my own, so I just played it as the boy. Um, but yeah, what a doozy of a game, guys. Wow. you got a lot of things going on there, haven't you? A hell of a lot of enemies coming at you. You're trying to collect the boxes at the same time, get as many as you possibly can. And then it's all on that time limit where the wall is coming in on you slowly in the end. Um, so you're just trying to finish up, you know, before you get bloody crushed and get through that door that appears. Um, but what a fantastic uh, game. That must have been awesome when it would hit the arcades in Japan, guys. I wonder why it never made it over here. Maybe they thought that it wouldn't suit the North American, European and the rest of the world market. I don't know. I think that would have been really, really popular. Um, very odd that it wasn't released into the rest of the world, guys, until it hit the PlayStation collection. Um, I'm so glad that it did. Because that regionalised it, didn't it? It's all in English there. Um, I don't know whether the original arcade was already in English. I can't imagine so, but it's possible. It's possible it was in English already. I don't know. Uh, not too sure about that one at all. But what a flipping brilliant game. Again, Namco at their best. I'll tell you what, these collections that Namco have done over the years, all of these museum collections and archive collections and whatever. They are just fantastic. It, it really just show you bloody how fantastic Namco can be and have been in the past, guys. Brilliant, brilliant company. I know all of these companies, Namco included, have lost their way a little bit, haven't they? But um, I think, if anything, Namco has held on to it a little bit more than the rest. Um, obviously, some of the biggest franchises in the bloody world came from Namco, including Pac-Man, Ridge Racer, Oh, just so many guys, you know, Gallagher and oh, Galaxian, of course. Um, yeah, so many different stellar bloody titles that have come from the Namco stable, guys. Oh, my word. So, yeah, that was another fantastic one, guys. Of course, we have a few more to go, guys, another four, and uh, we will work our way through them. But again, what a brilliant title and i so enjoyed playing that i really really did it was awesome there wasn't so much in the museum this time was there and of course the room was very bare when you went in there it was just the arcade standing there but still what a fabulous bloody game and i do love it with those display items that they put in the museum you know that you get to see obviously the pamphlets and things like that and even the uh you know, the board that was inside the bloody uh, arcade, guys. You know, you get to see the bloody circuits on it. Wicked. Absolutely wicked. So, yeah, brilliant. Right. Now, normally, I would go into rounding it up, wouldn't I? But, guys, I've got something to show you. Now, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this tomorrow. An unboxing and a play with it. I say play with it because it gets attached to something. Well, today... I had a message from my absolutely fantastic friend, Wayne, Mr. Wummel Gaming himself. Check his channel out. I shall link it below, guys. He is a fantastic, fantastic guy. Fantastic channel. He is also one of my admin team on the Retro Emulation Fan Group, guys. Well, he said to me, watch out. you got an Amazon delivery coming for your birthday. So... Another early birthday present, guys. I mean, I already got the fantastic Pac-Man plug-and-play from Dell, um, Mr. Handheld Games. Oh, and that was absolutely awesome, guys. And I tell you what, Wayne's present is bloody awesome as well. Oh, my word. I was so chuffed when I opened it, guys. It is fantastic. And I will be doing an unboxing and a play on using this, guys. Um, here we go. This is what he got me, guys. It's the Hori Pac-Man Joy-Cons. Oh, my word. I am so chuffed. 
And these are the Joy-Cons guys um, that have the buttons on the back that you can map as well. Oh my word, just look at that. I mean, we won't look at it too much because I am going to do an unboxing, but I'll just give you a quick glance there. Oh, I, I can't thank you enough, Wayne. This is gorgeous. You know how much I adore Pac-Man. Oh, I adore it. So yeah, I'm not going to show you any more of that because we will have an unboxing of it. But oh my word, thank you, thank you, thank you, Wayne. Mr. One More Gaming. I am absolutely over the moon. I can't even begin to tell you how much with my present. Thank you very much for another early birthday present. It isn't my birthday until the 26th, so we're getting there, guys. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Um, so, yeah, oh, I, th this is what it is with this community, guys. Um, I have made some of the most wonderful friends in the whole wide world through this community and through my channel. And I'm just absolutely and utterly humbled and honoured to know all of you, really, and particularly the ones I've become so close with through my group and what have you, and uh, through the constant comments on my channel. It is just the most wonderful experience. And this just goes to prove, guys, how fantastic my friends are. Um, oh, my word. I, I can't even begin to tell you how over the moon I am. But right, having said all that, guys, look forward to that video coming of the unboxing and play on. Right, that leaves me with the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a funny thumbs up. And I'm going to have to stop using that icon that I was using for so long with a face mask now that we don't, by law, have to wear them anymore. I tell you what, that is a bit worrying. You know, I got to... Uh, uh, town today and I had a wander through one of the shopping centres and I literally counted four people including myself that was wearing a face mask I'm still a bit worried about it guys um I think we're all jumping too quick to taking them off but what the hey eh and uh, even at work guys I was quite impressed there um most of the people that came into the shop were still wearing them there was one or two but um yeah that that was a different experience but I'm getting off track here, Anna, but I thought I'd mention that, guys, because I can't use my icon anymore, really. No, no. I'll use it this time. There we go. But anyway, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And, of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications at all. And, guys, do you love retro emulation? I've just been talking about this group, guys, over on Facebook. Fantastic, fantastic group. It is the Retro Emulation Fan Group that me and my best mate Nate set up quite some time ago. We now have a stellar admin team, including Mr. Wummel Gaming, Wayne himself, and Lee the Nerdy Geezer. They are both admin on there, guys. I mean, how wonderful is that? Two fantastic YouTubers are also admin on my group, on Nate's group, of course. Uh, so, yeah, fantastic place, guys. Getting bigger and bigger by the minute. Um... Tons of videos, guys. Tons. If you love emulation, you are covered with the videos. There is reviews of the handhelds and the home systems. There is reviews of the custom firmwares you can drop onto those handhelds. There is tech videos. And, of course, just an ever-growing number of members that you can have a banter with because they're all like-minded emulation enthusiasts. So if you just love emulation, please Head down below, there is a link to the group. And of course, guys, I also have my UK Kraut Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything from retro to modern, so from Pong machines to your PS5s. Everything's covered. And a ton of videos once again, guys, because loads of other YouTubers put their videos up there every single day, guys. More and more videos go up, so there's plenty of content for you to watch. And again, if you just want to have a banter, with a fantastic admin team and like-minded gaming loving folk you know what to do go below there is a link guys and uh, yeah ask to join and i will accept you in no time and then finally i have a patreon also linked below uh, yeah head over there guys give it a, uh, a watch i have a video there of you know why i set it up in the first place so like i say give it a watch and then decide if you want to join me on my Patreon journey. And with that, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. 
Until Wiedersehen. Tschüss and goodbye. And once again, just to, I've got to say it, guys. Thank you, Wayne, One more Gaming, for this doozy, guys. And look out for the video coming tomorrow. As soon as I finish work, I'll start on that one. Right. See you then, guys. Bye-bye.